Hello. <laughs> hey guys, my name is Lindy. I'm an American that's been living in France for about six years. So I randomly stumbled upon this city and with a quick train search, it's only about two to three hours away. So we're going to the oldest city in Germany called Trier. It was founded by the Romans, so you'll see lots of Roman ruins and Roman influence. But today it has about 111,000 residents. Porta Nigra, which is Black Gate in Latin. I think the structure is just so beautiful and cool and unique. So it's made up of 7,200 sandstone blocks and it was created in 170 AD by the Romans. And this gate was turned into a church, but then they eventually removed the church and were left with the original gate. which it is the Jewish quarter of Trier. And apparently this wasn't a ghetto where Jews were forced to live, but more so they just wanted to be around their own community and there was a synagogue in the area, so just to be surrounded by their own faith. And they lived there voluntarily up until the 15th century. Now we are off to Hauptmarkt, which is the market square. It hosts its market on Tuesdays and Thursdays. the different wines in Trier and the region around it. It's not Tuesday or Thursday, but there was at least one stand. So it was a mini market, but kind of cute. He was born in Trier in 1818. He's known for creating Marxism, which influenced both modern socialism as well as communism. And he actually has a museum here in Trier that talks about his life, his writings, as well as communism. that all of these buildings have like different textures and they're just really interesting to look at. I think my biggest tip is to just like look up. <laughs> I'm, like look at these fun colors and then you have these textures. It's just such a cool aesthetic. So one 
thing I'm finding really funny is that like Germans wait for the light to walk across like the pedestrian light they wait for it to turn green which sounds normal but like in France you easily just like when it's red you just make sure there's no cars and then you cross but here they're like very respectful of that so when in Rome or in Tia <laughs> see the electoral palace apart from being this beautiful pink color it was originally the residence of the archbishops of the roman empire until the 1700s this was until the french revolution started and the french army confiscated the palace in 1794 today it's office space as well as hosts classical music concerts can see literally attached right next to the electoral palace is the Constantine Basilica. It was built in 310 AD and it is the largest single room supported without columns to survive in the classical world. Pretty cool and it's like gorgeous inside. see outside and then the other it almost looks like an office building of glass so you're gonna have to peer in to see it Barbara baths, there are three different Roman ruins, the Barbara baths, the imperial ones, and then the forum baths. And of the three, this one, as you can see, it's just like a walk outside. It is free. The other two you do have to pay. There's a random foot. <laughs> Hi, foot. And actually, right behind the electoral palace, we have one of the thermal bath ruins. They want to charge you four euros to go inside. I'm gonna just look from the outside. I'm only doing things that are free today. <laughs> Ooh, they do have a secret gate here. Maybe we can see inside. Explore. <laughs> we got to see it for free. There it is. And this one is Kaiser Thaumann. It's starting to get pretty hot and my feet are starting to hurt, so we're gonna go get a bubble tea. And now, if tea is not your thing, you could definitely try one of the local specialties, which is, I don't know how you pronounce it, I think it's Viez, but it is a acidic cider, and it is known in tea. This little neighborhood area over by the river um, it's known as and it's really cute like 
you could get lunch, but there's only like one or two restaurants open and the others open in the afternoon. So it'd be good to get like a drink. Searching Tuya, I came across something super interesting, a little bit dark, but it turns out in 1581 to 1593, Tuya had one of the four largest witch trials in Germany. It's said that about 370 people died in Tuya, and then it's not fully known for all of Germany, but it's expected that about a thousand people died during these witch trials. It is the oldest standing bridge in Deutschland and the oldest Roman bridge north of the Alps. And in the Roman times, tossing a coin off of the bridge into the Mosel was an offering of good luck. There's a lot of Roman influence, Roman remains, all that. So we are going to go see the Roman amphitheater ruins. I will admit to get to the amphitheater, it is a little bit of a hike. So plan to have a little extra time to get over to it if you want to see it. But I'm making the hike because look what's behind me. <laughs> a vineyard, how cool. <laughs> it's so beautiful. to give a quick review on my thoughts on Trier. I think it's really cool. It's definitely very German. I love the style though. It's quite different from France. I feel like things are bulkier and like more sturdy and it's it's been cool to notice some differences even just for like a day here. Like I mentioned earlier, I think it's funny like they definitely wait at the red light for pedestrians and it just kind of goes with the stereotype that Germans are very like orderly and follow the rules and organized. So I just thought that was kind of funny that it was true. But I think the coolest thing I noticed is just the architecture and how many textures are on buildings and the fun colors and different patterns. And then there's so much history with the Roman ruins everywhere from the Black Gate to the thermal baths to the amphitheater. There's a lot of Roman history here. I definitely recommend it. I might say skip the amphitheater if you are a little crunched on time, just because it's a little bit of a hike and there's nothing else around it. But the other things are all pretty centrally located over near like the Hauptmarkt, the market area. I was gonna say it's Hauptmarkt. The Hauptmarkt is Hauptmarkt. <laughs> so I really enjoyed my day. And then you can see here even down by the Muzed River, a lot of nature and calm and peace, so it's a good mix. And I, it's also a big student city. Yeah, I recommend it. <laughs> Let me know your thoughts below. Have you ever visited? Or now do you want to? <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. I'm so easy. I push in. And tschüss.